So question number three for the test for review. Which of the following statements is false about sound? A, it travels faster when the temperature is hotter. Does sound travel faster when the temperature is hotter? Uh, B, sound pitch refers to its intensity. C, ultrasonic refers to frequencies higher than 20,000 hertz. D, 40 decibel uh, sound uh, sounds. 40 decibels sound twice as loud as 30 decibels. So does a 40 decibel sound wave sound twice as loud as a 30 decibel? So let's go through these again. Uh, A, it travels faster when the temperature is hotter. Well, that is actually true. The velocity of sound uh, in uh, um, air happens to be 331, one plus two over 273 to the one half power with the temperature is measured in Celsius. Okay, so um, if the temperature happens to be absolute zero, which is uh, negative 273 Celsius, so then the temperature velocity of sound is uh, zero meters per second. Uh, when the temperature in the air happens to be uh, zero Celsius, then the velocity of sound would be what? If you put zero here, you get just one, then you get 331 meters per second. And if you put velocity, uh, temperature is 20 Celsius, which is uh, about uh, average room temperature, comfortable room temperature, you get the velocity of sound is 343 meters per second. That, this is actually known as Mach 1 which is uh, roughly uh, accepted that it's the velocity of a sound wave at a temperature of 20 Celsius. So if you are able to pass that, then you will have a sonic boom. So from this equation, we can tell that the velocity of sound increases when the temperature in the air is hotter. Well, uh, from a conceptual point of view, why does this happen? Well, from the last problem, we learned that the velocity of sound is a longitudinal wave and it's a propagation of high pressure, low pressure. So sound depends on the vibration of air molecules and it's the propagation of that vibration, right? Well, if the temperature in the air is hotter, that means the molecules are already moving faster, right? And if the molecules are already moving faster, then they will more be able to uh, mediate that propagation. The propagation will more easily flow through the air because the molecules are already moving a lot, lot faster. So those high pressure, low pressure regions will bump into each other a lot quicker and the velocity of sound is gonna be greater when the temperature is hotter. So that makes sense. Uh, B, sound pitch refers to its intensity. Intensity? And the answer is no, it's not true, right? Which of the following statements is false about sound? And the answer is B, okay? Sound pitch refers to its intensity? No, sound pitch refers to its frequency, okay? So if a, a sound has a high frequency, it's gonna sound high pitch, like something like, oh, and if a uh, frequency is low, it's gonna be like low, okay? So it's a, the pitch is the, uh, the frequency of the sound. Now, sound volume. So if we say a sound is very loud or very low, uh, the, that has to do with what? It has to do with the amplitude of the wave, right? How if the wave is, has a big amplitude or if a wave has a low amplitude, right? A low amplitude is gonna have a low volume and you're barely gonna be able to hear it. So it's also, you can say, it's gonna have a low intensity. So uh, intensity is another way of basically saying the amplitude, okay? And it's gonna sound not very loud. So we could say this is also a measure of loudness. Okay, loudness and volume, amplitude and intensity, those are um, sort of synonymous to each other, okay? So, um, so that one actually was the false one. C, ultrasonic refers to frequencies higher than 20,000 hertz. That's actually true. A frequency that is very, very high, very high pitch, higher than 20,000 hertz, those are called ultrasonic frequencies. 
Our ears uh, might not be sensitive to that, but some other kind of animals, you know, those, uh, they will be able to hear those frequencies, um, whereas we will not be able to, okay? Now, ultrasonic waves are also very good use in mapping out um, uh, certain uh, land features, like for example, in the ocean, we send ultrasonic waves and we send them back and we can hear uh, the wave coming back and we can map out the ocean floor, okay? So ultrasonic refers to higher than 20,000 hertz. Supersonic, that's a word that's kind of related to ultrasonic. Supersonic has to do with sound uh, speeds that are faster than the speed of, well, if you're basically going faster than the speed of sound in the medium, okay? Then you are going supersonic speeds. So for example, if the temperature is uh, 20 Celsius, the velocity of sound happens to be 343 meters per second. If a certain aircraft is going faster than that, let's say 400 meters per second, at a temperature of 20 Celsius, then they're going faster than the speed of sound. That's called supersonic speeds. Okay, so that has to do with your speed, supersonic speed. Whereas ultrasonic ha has to do with the frequency of the sound wave, okay? And part D says 40 decibels sound twice as loud as 30 decibels, okay? 40 decibels sounds twice as loud as 30 decibels. That is basically a generally accepted fact. It's not, uh, there's no mathematical equation or anything to show for that, but it's generally accepted that when two sound waves are separated by a 10 decibel interval, then the human he uh, ear hears that as twice as loud. So if something is 80 decibels and another thing has a 70 decibels, Later on, when we do problems of this, well, this is 10 times, has the 10 times the intensity of that one. Uh, 40 has 10 times the intensity of 30, right? But 10 times intensity does not necessarily translate to the human ear as 10 times louder, right? So what actually ends up happening is that 40 and 30 actually ends up sounding twice as loud, right? So 40 decibels sounds twice as loud as 30 decibels. So how, what would happen? 50, 30, if 50 sounds twice as loud as 40, 40 sounds twice as loud as 30, then 50 will be how many times louder than 40, uh, then how many times louder than 30? It's gonna sound four times louder, right? And if you have 50 and 20, right? 50 is gonna sound twice as loud as 40, 40 is gonna sound twice as loud as 30, 30 is gonna sound twice as loud as 20. So two times two times two, right? So it's eight. So basically, uh, if you are separated by 30 decibel interval, it's gonna sound eight times louder, 20 decibel interval four times, and then so on and so forth, okay? So that is actually a true statement. So. Out of this, this one was the false one, okay? Thank you.